Hey everyone, today we're out for a cold and snowy gravel ride on my gravel converted surly karate monkey. Before you say anything, I got a lot of comments on my video of converting this over about it not being a true gravel bike because of the tires. Um, but uh, I do have some 700 by 40 millimeter Maxxis Ramblers that I was, am going to run on it, but with the winter being here and uh, the conditions, I figured it was probably best to just keep these tires on for now. When we lose some of the snow and ice, I might switch back, but uh, it's just it's just nice to have a little more grip and a little more of an aggressive tire in, in conditions like this. So this is what I will be leaving on for probably most of the winter. This is the Jefferson River out here. A lot of ducks and geese out there. I'm gonna do a loop that has a little bit of pavement as well as the, uh, the snow covered dirt and rocks. I haven't really been out on a real ride on this bike yet since I put these bars on and made it rigid and stuff, but uh, I'm excited for this. I'm a little bummed that there's so much snow. I don't feel super comfortable getting up here on these bull horns. Right now, uh, I want to stay pretty close to the brakes and have more control out wide. But when I'm out on the pavement, I'll probably switch over. It's hovering right around freezing and it's overcast, so there could be some good ice patches. Just trying to watch out for those. But generally, this road's pretty good. Sees enough traffic to keep it in pretty good shape. This is why I don't ride clips in the winter normally. Ah, I can't. Frozen snow and dirt. It's all stuck up in my shoes. Ah, I got it. Man, that was annoying. See, I don't know. I just love the flat versus the drops. Although I would try the super wide ones they have now. They just get so like twitchy. It's just such a quick response. You can see how frozen it is right here and then it drops off into the, the main river. This part actually just is a really short section that's diverted, but it doesn't go down at all. And there's a boat ramp down there. Um, well, boat ramp, it's just a, a dirt fishing access, but it's, it's always really cool to me to see how it freezes over. All right, let's get on this pavement. It's a little bit of a headwind, so probably gonna head up here. It's comfortable for sure. I've been playing with it a little bit on some shorter rides. I originally had these bars tilted up a lot more, back like this, and uh, I just found it wasn't the most comfortable out here, and it was a little awkward on my wrist. My wrist was tilted back a little more than I liked. I tilted it down slightly. Looks like it's a tiny bit off from center, but just barely. Just my OCD coming out. But yeah, this is way better than being out wide and more upright on a flat bar. So is this actually. We're just gonna head down this way for probably three more miles. It's down towards Twin Bridges. And then uh, we'll cut over and there's a dirt road that goes along the bench over here. Trying some different hand positions. I actually like this one right here. I might put tape right here, just like this. It's pretty comfy. This isn't as comfortable as I thought. This is great. And weirdly, this is good. The ability to hook your thumbs in right there is, is really nice. 
uh, and you can even stand up pretty confidently and it's a really good grip. It's still narrower than most, than a, the wall. Not than most, than all the flat bars, unless you're a little kid. This is where that narrower 40 millimeter or 45 millimeter, maybe even a 50, a two inch tire would be a lot better. These are 2.4s, a little too big, a little too aggressive for the road. They're not the most fun to pedal out on this. I really appreciate them on the dirt and the snow, but you could still go narrower and find more of a sweet spot between the two where you've got enough traction for the dirt and a less rolling resistance for the road. All right, turned off the road right there. And now I'm gonna head out this way and then go that way. So we'll see how it goes. So nice to be out of that headwind. Right now it's kind of a crosswind, a little bit of a tailwind. But yeah, it just makes such a big difference. I did this ride, put in reverse on this bike when I first got it. So it had a suspension fork and flat bars. And uh, I'll say, this is so much better. You wouldn't think it would make a huge difference, but I had about the same amount of headwind and it was actually warmer but I'm pretty sure I'm putting these miles down a lot faster. So, really happy with that. I'm glad I went on that ride to measure it as a baseline. Because um, I noticed a huge difference. Um, and this is still with the same tire. So, once I drop down a few sizes, I'm probably going to feel like I'm flying. I like this feels a lot faster than out here where you're just a big sail especially me i've got broad shoulders so it's nice to tuck in oh man i feel like i'm on a road bike again i love that I mean, I don't love road biking that much. It's fun for commuting, but this is fun. I really like this. There's a pretty rough turn right here, but I'm going to attempt it. With my hands in the middle and without really slowing down too much. The cow thinks I'm coming for it. All right, back on the road. Someone just got pulled over behind me. Or they're trying to pull me over, but I hope not. Woo, my toes. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first real ride on my gravel converted mountain bike. I know, I know. You might say it's not really gravel converted yet because of the tires, but that's actually one thing I looked for in a gravel bike anyway was the ability to clear basically mountain bike tires. Not this big, this is this is pretty big, 29 by 2.4. If you haven't seen my video where I convert this over and talk about why I did what I did, there's a reason for why I've done what I've done and why I'm calling it my gravel bike, even if it isn't a gravel bike in the typical sense of the word, but who knows what that is anyway. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. Make sure you like this video and I'll see you next time.